After being defeated by a large truck, he was reborn as the youngest son of the strongest leader of the Lionheart Empire. Dominic Blofeld, and obtained the sixth cultivation card drawing system. By doing some unethical things, he can draw cards and become stronger. After tasting the sweetness, he suddenly realized, fake second-generation officials. Gentle, versatile, honest, and friendly towards others the real second generation of officials. Arrogant and domineering, promiscuous and promiscuous, with Max fighting ability in many harsh words from people so, he became the most abstract young master in the territory, the most genius child in the history of the empire. He had just formed in his mother's womb and punched his eldest brother and kicked his second brother. At the age of one, he understood the imperial script, at the age of two, he spoke wildly, at the age of three, he fought against scholars with his tongue, and at the age of seven, he was proficient in using all basic magic. His talent reached the level of a test ball bursting, if my enemy is Dom, I will allow my soldiers to become deserters. General MacArthur, five star, fortunately, it was a bullet that hit my head, not Dominic's earth burst star, otherwise I might never have been able to survive. Emperor Miley keywords of the novel. There is a Lord Father who only wants to draw cards. What's wrong? No pop-ups, there's a Lord Dad who just wants to draw cards. What's wrong? Download the complete set of TXT. I have a Lord who just wants to draw cards. What's wrong? Latest chapter reading. Chapter 1. The Birth of the King. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 1. Birth of the King The surroundings were pitch black when there is no trace of color in the field of vision, people usually cannot distinguish whether the lights are turned off or they have closed their eyes. If nothing unexpected happens, it can bring anxiety and a sense of emptiness. Dominic felt like he was in chaos, his limbs suspended without any sense of weightlessness, as if something was supporting him. He wanted to move his limbs without any feedback, feeling like he was tied to the operating table and under general anesthesia. Is it the feeling of being hit by a big truck? Grass. It's just summer vacation today. A university student who has been tired for a semester just took a break and hastily bid farewell to their prime before fully enjoying their youth and vacation. This kind of thing would drive anyone crazy. He exerted all his strength to make his body move, even if it was only for a moment, it would show him hope for survival, but this was just his wishful thinking. It was more about venting his inner anger and condemning the injustice of heaven. And at this moment, a mechanical synthesized sound echoed in the mind, not transmitted from the outside to the ears, but appeared in the mind. Along with several lines of white Chinese, they appear on the completely black display screen. You kicked one of the sons of the Duke of Blofeld, villain value plus 200, card draw roulette activated, 100 villain points equals 1 draw, 10 consecutive novice rewards not activated, every 1000 rounds can receive 1 advanced card pool draw opportunity, without consuming villain points, dot. Please note that all prize pools do not have any minimum guarantee mechanism, please do not limit your efforts to the best of your abilities. This is the exclusive golden finger of the traveler. After these few lines of words were paired with mechanical synthesizers, a great joy filled Dominic's heart. It turned out that being created by a big truck would really travel to a different world, and now the last reluctance disappeared. Reality is like chicken feathers, there is no fun in a different world. Anyway, this guy has no relatives, no girlfriends, and no inheritance exceeding four figures, so there's nothing to worry about. In another world, I'm here. With a silent cheer, Dominic began to study his golden finger. So what did I really kick just now? According to the system's description, it was someone's son who was kicked. It seems to have a high status, and one kick is two chances for a lottery. So, I have to take all the wool out of it, now he doesn't care about his situation anymore, because he knows that a traveler who has just arrived in a different world will definitely not die, so there is nothing to worry about. With all his strength, he just kicks and punches. You assaulted one of the sons of the Duke of Blofeld, villain value plus 200, 
you kicked one of the sons of the Duke of Blofeld, villain value plus 200, it seems that the Duke's luck is not very good. He has three sons in a row, so the pressure of life should be quite high. You stomp on. Your head hammer. After completely exhausting himself, the villain value also reached a thousand levels. Duomi excitedly summoned the system and eagerly pressed the draw button, which was the reward of his hard work. Ten consecutive shots, extracting. Thank you for your patronage shadow talent, beginner, thank you for your patronage thank you for your patronage, Lionheart Empire Universal Text Mastery, LV, Max, beginners ten consecutive rewards, rewards have been distributed in an instant, a large stream of abstract knowledge flooded into his brain, but he didn't feel uncomfortable. Instead, he felt like he was swimming in an ocean of knowledge, and then this knowledge would permeate into his brain in a concentration ranging from high to low. At the same time, a layer of black-purple halo covered his young body, which was a talent that the system was bestowing upon him with magic. The feeling of being able to become stronger with just a few hands is so wonderful, even more so than electronic crow movies. Just as he was replenishing his energy and wanting to continue to waste. Bah, when he was intimately sticking with his two brothers, the chaos around him suddenly wriggled. The outside world, a large circle of people surrounded a large bed with a canopy in a room decorated with classical luxury. Men, women, and children of all ages were clothing similar to medieval times, but it is simpler and more in line with human aesthetics. One of the handsome men, dressed in gorgeous clothes, tall and thin, with grey-white medium-long hair, stands out particularly. At this moment, he had a worried expression on his face, and his deep gaze was firmly fixed on the person on the bed. That was his wife, who was currently facing the danger of giving birth. Her long curly golden hair was scattered on the bedsheet, and the woman was extremely beautiful. She was beautiful but not seductive, gorgeous but not vulgar. Her big eyes were moist and spiritual, and her slender eyelashes set her off like an elf. But her condition was not very good, with cold sweat gradually secreting on her smooth forehead. Her beautiful face was twisted in pain, but every time she saw her long skirt and her bulging belly, a touch of tenderness flashed in her eyes. Grandma, how is Grace doing? Duke Carlos Blofeld asked anxiously, even though he was the most powerful lord of the Lionheart Empire, he would still fall into the mortal world, in the face of such a situation. The midwife is an elderly woman, but her delivery skills are the best in the entire territory. She came to the castle to be on standby as early as Grace was pregnant. After double-checking, she bowed to Carlos and said. Master Hui, it is estimated that the fetal abnormality caused the wife's delivery date to be earlier. However, all three young masters have already formed and there will be no premature birth problem when the child is born now. The wife is still a high-dot-level mage, and even if it is a triplet, her body can still handle it. Please, please ensure the safety of my wife and children. What is the responsibility of the old man? Except for the midwife and auxiliary maid, everyone else was kicked out by Carlos, while he himself sat in front of his wife's door, anxiously waiting for the result. He is certain that when he went to the battlefield back then, he was not as anxious as he is now. Time passed by little by little, and Carlos couldn't remember how long it had been. Outside the window, the sun was about to rise in the east, and the rising sun was red with blood, casting a large golden light on the corridor. In Carlos's eyes, this scene seemed like an angel taking his wife and children to heaven. The unease in his heart reached its peak at this moment. Just as he stepped forward to inquire about the situation, a loud and powerful cry came from inside the door, like a spear thrown by Ku Chulin, piercing through the long night and bringing light to the whole world. After the first cry, there is the second and third cry. Accompanied by the cheers of the maids inside, the midwife took off her bloody gloves and sat on the floor exhausted but satisfied, both mother and son safe. The family servants who waited with Carlos also offered their blessings. Congratulations to the master for having a precious son. Our house is going to be lively again. Carlos, should your child book a marriage with my family? 
Second brother, are you crazy? Getting married to a close relative is not allowed. I'll just say it out of my mouth. The surroundings were noisy, and everyone welcomed the birth of his child in the most lively form. While feeling happy, the hanging heart finally let go. After a moment, the maidservant and two other maids walked out with children wrapped in towels and presented them to Carlos. Master, there are three boys who are all very healthy and have inherited your handsomeness. Looking at the three chubby and white little ones, Carlos shed tears of displeasure at the corners of his eyes and said, All right. All right. All right. Everyone rewards ten gold dragon coins. Take them and celebrate well. One golden dragon equals ten silver wolves equals one hundred copper eagles, one arm long bread is only three copper eagles, and ten golden dragons cannot be exchanged for much bread. The maids have even more smiles on their faces. During this moment of universal celebration, Carlos paused in his tone and said, However, why are these two children with a little bruise on their faces? End of this chapter Chapter 2 Pink Hair Made Sister Sai Gao You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2.2 Pink Hair Made Sister Sai Gao It has been a whole week since the birth of three young masters, and after continuous rainy days, Blofeld finally welcomed a sunny day. The bright sunshine passes through the window lattice and hits the wooden floor with patterns. Dust in the air is faintly visible, and the warmth from the sun and the fresh air after the rain cover the entire room, making people feel comfortable and warm. How long has it been since I rested so carefree? After a rough thought, Duomi seemed to have never had it before. He, who is helpless and helpless, constantly needs to align with life, but that's all in the past. Now he just wants to comfortably flip over, so that the sun can also cook his other side. At this moment, a pleasant sound like a lark came from the crib. Zayad Womi it's time to take a shower. Dominic's exclusive maid, Kelsey, hummed a folk tune and said lightly, her mood seems to be very good today. In the Blofeld family, all maids are trained from a young age, absolutely loyal and very capable. Whenever a legitimate child is born, the steward selects the best among many maids to take care of the young master or lady. Taking care of includes but is not limited to bathing, dining, and daily living, and wealthy maids naturally also have to work part-time as wet nurses. There is scientific evidence to support this point. A maid who frequently works must have more common antibodies on her body than a high-dot-level mage's wife who has killed off the virus. Even if a baby drinks the maid's breast milk, they can inherit more antibodies, and the mortality rate drops sharply. From the perspective of maids, being selected as the exclusive maid to take care of young masters and ladies is a great honor and a recognition of their workability. It's normal for Kelsey to be so happy, or rather, she has been happy for several consecutive days, and Duomi is like a beam of light in her life, making her soar to fame in an instant. After a few days of sedimentation, Domi, who had just been born, was able to open his eyes. He was the first of the three brothers to open his eyes. That is a pair of naturally deep ice blue pupils, paired with a few grey white hairs just pulled out from his head, which already shows his future handsome appearance. With brand new factory made eyes, Duomi can finally see this world, even though the current world can only stay in a huge castle. Regardless of his immortal parents, the little sister in front of him who is taking off her clothes is also very beautiful. Xiaojia Biyu looks like a jade, with light pink long hair coiled into meatballs. Despite being around 1.6 meters tall, she is very wealthy and generous to him. Every time she breastfeeds, she can earn a large wave of villain points. In fact, he didn't want to do this either, but he was just a child with no resistance and could only eat soft and hard. Alright, Domi was picked up naked by Kelsey, and the little maid looked at her petite figure. She couldn't help but chuckle, her peach blossom eyes curved into a crescent moon like today's sunshine. Although she looked very beautiful when she smiled, it really hurt her self-esteem. Arriving at the bathroom, the castle covers a huge area, and the farthest person who wants to eat at the restaurant has to run at least two kilometers. 
It is not a problem to have a separate bathroom for each slightly better room. The walls and floors are inlaid with smooth gray and white marble slabs, creating a luxurious texture under warm colored lighting. A large bathtub that can accommodate six people to wash together, with a golden carved faucet at the outlet. There are fresh rose petals and unknown aromatherapy in the corner, and when you enter, a refreshing fragrance fills your face. Normally, as exclusive maids, they cannot wash with young masters and ladies. How can two people with a significant difference in status be in the same bathtub? Even if one party is just a baby, it's not possible. Kadumi is not willing. In theory, infancy is the period when he can be most reckless and earn the best villain value. How can he be framed by these foolish secular rules? So he struggled to stay in the water the first time he took a shower, struggling to get wet and wriggling his body like a maggot, so he couldn't even wash. The maids didn't dare to force themselves, and tried all kinds of methods in vain. In the end, he indirectly comforted them by pulling on Kelsey's collar. It turned out they had to wash with the wet nurse. After obtaining the consent of his parents, Kelsey would soak in the bathtub with him every time he took a shower, and the same happened this time. She first sat herself in a bathtub that was half filled with water, which was not enough to submerge him. Subsequently, Kelsey would unabashedly take off all her clothes in front of him, including a black and white made dress, lace-trimmed black silk knee-high socks, a bit cute lingerie, and finally a pointed little high heel with a black face and red background. It has to be said that he affirmed the aesthetics of the Blofeld family. A burst of steam rose from the spacious bathroom, enveloping everything in holy light. Sitting by the edge of the bathtub, I could see Kelsey lifting her tender white feet and then slowly walking towards him, reaching into the pool the current water surface is no more than half of her calf, and every time she lifts her foot, it will raise small splashes of water. The sound of popping and popping is very tempting. Etc., why use seduction to describe it? While the hot water was not yet fully filled, Kelsey would gently wipe his body with a towel. Her delicate jade hands would occasionally scoop up a handful of water and pour it down, with gentle movements, afraid of hurting him. For Kelsey's service, Duomi can only give a five-dot star rating with one hand. The 648 full massage service in her previous life may not have been as dedicated as her, although he didn't have the spare money to try it out. When the pool is almost full, the cleaning of the body is almost over, and then it is the time to truly enjoy the bath. After a tiring day, Kelsey sat on the marble block at the edge of the bathtub, with her back against the wall. The water had already surpassed her collarbone, and her pale pink hair was floating on the surface, with water droplets about to drip from her hair tips. Duomi couldn't help but let out a heartfelt sigh. In this lifetime, it's worth it. The words turned into a giggling giggle in the toothless baby's mouth. Comfortable, Duomi. Thanks to you, I can enjoy such a big bath with you kiss Mua, without outsiders, Kelsey really didn't treat him like a young master. His cherry-like mouth pressed against his cheek, icy and cool, causing a great shock to his young soul. Ah Sparashi. The paradise-like enjoyment combined with the constantly updated villain value acquisition record in the lower right corner of the field of view may be the correct way to open this system. In just one bath, Kelsey contributed 500 villain points to him, which was quite generous, and this was the result of her limited identity. The system uses the identity of Dom as a benchmark to increase and decrease upwards. If it were his Teresa and his biological mother who washed him this way, the villain value given would probably have more than tripled. But let his mother come and wash it for him. Not to mention that she's still in confinement, washing three at a time might break her hands. Is Kelsey not fragrant anymore? No. Cute and gentle pink-haired little sister Sai Gao. If the single amount is not enough, then we can make up for it. So far, we have washed her five times, with an average of 500 each time. Five times is 2,500, and if we do it a few more times, even the high dot level prize pool is not far away. In addition, with the rewards he received while breastfeeding, 
he has already accumulated a deposit of 8,800 villain values at a young age. This ability to earn rice is simply like Warren Buffett living in Bezos possessed. The future is very promising. End of this chapter. Chapter 3. Monkeys. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 3.3. Monkey. MMM, Kelsey, soaking in the bathtub, let out a soft moan. She stretched out her limbs comfortably, with a lazy expression and a flushed face, and said, Do you know Duomi? Our maid is really fierce. It's not enough to have a lot of dust on the areas that need to be cleaned. If any of her white gloves turn black, she will punish us for doing twice as much work. Fortunately, I'm smart, capable, cautious, and careful. Otherwise, it's definitely those elderly women who come to bathe you Duomi is just a baby, at least in her eyes. How can a baby who can't even read big characters understand her? So Kelsey can roast and vent her frustrations in life without scruple here, and no one will know if she scolds anyone. Now that I think about everything being so dreamy, I admit that I do have some talent in doing household chores. However, I am only 16 years old and have just reached adulthood. At such a young age, I was chosen as your exclusive maid. Could it be that the maid has been deceiving me? Or is it that the fierce maidservant is actually a good person who wants to take care of me? Kelsey lifted her head to look at the ceiling, her eyes filled with both anticipation for the future and corresponding anxiety and confusion. The arm, as white and tender as a lotus root, held him in its arms, like a puppet toy. The identities of the master and servant seemed to have changed, and Kelsey was the noble woman who was pampered but considered family matters at the end of the day, Kelsey is just a young girl who has just reached adulthood. At this age, girls should play happily with their friends in school, secretly flirt with their favorite boys, and taste the sweetness of their youth, rather than being filled with worldly wisdom and living in fear. It can only be said that people from every social class have their own troubles, and Duomi should be grateful that babies are the least troubled. But now is not the time to hurt him. He grabbed Kelsey's arm and climbed up, wanting to kiss his older sister with his mouth so that she knew he was about to burst. Even if he exerted all his strength, he could only hold on to Kelsey's chin with resentment, his little mouth barely touching it. Helplessly, he squeezed Kelsey's protein-like delicate and tender face with a plump hand. Oh my, I've forgotten the time. I'm sorry. Two people always reach a consensus on strange points in their brain waves, abbreviated as having a telepathic connection. With a loud crash, the pool water slid down the graceful curve, how shocking it was. Unfortunately, the next time you enjoy such beautiful scenery, you will have to wait for the next time. The system settlement has put an end to this happy shower. You peep at the cute maid's bath, villain value plus 500, as the saying goes, dolls should be raised from a young age, and the descendants of noble families are no exception. Duomi and his two brothers have to learn some basic things every afternoon under the guidance of the Enlightenment teacher, such as language and magical magic. The Enlightenment course for human offspring starts today. It's absurd to say that at the age of less than one year old, one must be forced to study. Can you really understand? However, parents don't seem to care if Duomi can understand. The main focus is on education. If there is another reason, it is that other nobles have also done the same to their own children. Ah, human beings have a strange desire for victory or defeat. After finishing lunch, he was carried by Kelsey to another room and placed on a specially customized children's seat. On his left side, his elder brother Argyle and second brother Edward had already taken their seats. When he saw him coming, he widened his eyes curiously and looked at him. Duomi also looked at the two of them, and his elder brother Aguer was more important than them when he was just born, and his body grew faster. He may grow up to be a quite robust person. Unlike him and Argyle, Edward's second brother's hair is golden, probably inherited from their mother's hair color. Implicit inheritance, I have taught biology in high school. He is glad that the people here understand this truth. 
If Carlos thinks his wife had an affair and gave birth to a golden-haired cub, they will all die together. Their teacher is a female teacher named Becky who was recruited directly from the local preschool class. She is very famous for teaching children, but this skill may not be very effective for babies. After all, this job is equivalent to teaching to three wooden people who don't know anything, which is easier than taking the teacher's certificate exam. What is needed is only patience, patience, and patience. Moreover, teacher Becky is temporary and will have to leave sooner or later, so Domi doesn't want to put any effort into her, just focuses on what she is talking about. But what she said seemed useless. She took an oil painting from the nearby table and pointed to the familiar man on it, saying, Dad. Dad Dad. Then he tirelessly repeated it more than twenty times, until all three human cubs began to babble, imitating their mouths. This left Domi speechless. What did he think? Just reciting words is a bit out of line for babies, but it's a waste of time for them. After all, after he obtained the Lion Heart Empire Universal Script Mastery, languages from other worlds can come just like his mother tongue. Actually, starting from the fifth time, Aguirre and Edward had already looked a bit like each other. Only Dom felt too bored and even lazy to cooperate, which led to the preschool teacher repeating it over and over again. She looked at Dominic, who didn't even move his mouth, and at one point she thought he might be a mentally disabled person. She pronounced the words, Dad, but her lips were almost smoking. Thank goodness, this little one finally spoke up when she was about to give up. The teacher breathed a sigh of relief and stuffed back the tears that were about to fall. Then, with a bitter face, he took out the next oil painting and guided the next word. Mom. Mom Mom. Just as Duomi was about to cooperate, the system's prompt suddenly sounded. Intentionally not cooperating with the teacher's teaching, villain value plus 110, conversion formula immediately appeared in Duomi's mind. If it doesn't match, it will result in 5 villain points. I ignored her a total of 22 times just now, so I gave her a total of 110 points. Is this how the villain values? Then he won't be polite. Although mosquito legs are meaty, they are also meat. Mom. Mom Mom. 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 Read it. Why the fuck didn't you read it? At the sixtieth attempt, the teacher finally broke through and lowered her throat, becoming hysterical. She was afraid of scaring the children and disturbing the maids outside, but also grabbed her hair to vent her helplessness and anger. This contradictory feeling drove her crazy. It's him again. This is the youngest third again. What's wrong with him on the cliff? Why do you always have to confront her? Just as the teacher was in despair, she caught a glimpse of Duomi's lips opening and closing, creating a mother shape. Duomi even made an extra move, afraid she might think she had taken a wrong look. Look, it's rare for a sunny big boy like him to be so considerate and understanding. Seeing that the teaching had finally made progress, the teacher forcefully calmed down the impatience in his heart and secretly released himself, saying. He's just a silly kid who doesn't understand anything. Why do you have the same view as him? Even a duke's child can have fools, yes, big shots can also give birth to fools. A calm mind, a calm mind, after regaining her state, the teacher once again put on a smiling face, and it has to be said that the speed at which a woman changes her face is comparable to flipping through a book. It seems that the children have learned the previous two words very well, but they can't chew too much. Now let's move on to the next stage. After hearing these words, Duomi felt a moment of disappointment. It seemed that he couldn't force the teacher too hard in the future, otherwise he would attract hundreds of villains with high or low values. However, in the next moment, he didn't feel at all uncomfortable. The teacher put all the oil paintings back on the table and sat cross-legged in front of the three children, so that they could see more clearly. I saw her spread out her hand, and between the opening and closing of her lips, the spell had already been recited. Sincerity, warmth, flames are like my heart, burning hot. Subsequently, in her palm, 
a dazzling red flame suddenly rose without any warning. There are no magical behind-the-scenes methods, no technological devices operating secretly, these methods are considered miracles in the eyes of modern people like Domi. The small flame flickered, and every time Duomi thought it was about to go out, the flame could always hold on tenaciously, as if it was truly like a spell recited by the teacher. The flame was as hot as her heart. Ma. Ma Ho Xiao Jiu. Magical girl, Duomi stared blankly at the flames, with a rich expression on his face that was even more than the previous hour combined. He finally knew what the shadow talent he drew from his birth was referring to. End of this chapter. Chapter 4. Punish on the Spot. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 4.4. Punish on the Spot. As evening approached, the kitchen in Blofeld Castle became busy. A professional team of nearly a hundred people and precious ingredients from all over the world are gathered here, driven by the power of money, specifically serving the Blofeld family. At this time, they are preparing a diverse variety of dinners. Chef Michelson waved a large spoon and shouted, causing his curled-up mustaches to shake violently. Be quick with your actions. Today, the young master's teacher was invited to stay for dinner and give me all twelve points of skill. Whoever wants to fish this month's bonus will be gone. Ow! Under the coercion and temptation of the head chef, each chef seemed to have opened an unparalleled restaurant, with their entire body engulfed in flames as they flipped spoons, and exquisite dishes were constantly being sent to the restaurant. The kitchen and restaurant are about half a kilometer apart, and the sight of dozens of maids queuing up to deliver meals is spectacular, making the castle, which was originally somewhat deserted, lively. The largest reception hall in the castle is adjacent to the family restaurant used by the host, which is slightly smaller in size, but also as large as four basketball courts combined. The high curved dome hangs countless dazzling candles, illuminating the entire restaurant warmly and brightly. It has to be said that the world of wealthy people is really a loss for thieves. A restaurant alone is bigger than some single-family houses, and even in such a large space, there is only a long table and a few chairs, which cannot be described as luxury. Watching the meal, Duomi's parents had already sat in their seats. Carlos undoubtedly occupies the first seat, he is the ruler of the entire Blofeld family, and this position belongs to him. The first position on the left side is occupied by his wife Grace, but the first position on the right side is empty, and even teacher Becky, who is a guest, can only settle for the second position on the right side. Many people in the castle have doubts about the position of the first person on the right hand, which is often left unattended and not allowed to be occupied by others. However, Carlos is the head of the house, and no one dares to ask. Even Grace just gave it a try. You should know that the seating order of nobles at the dinner table is a very ceremonial and solemn thing, so the two positions next to the head of the household must be the most important people to him, the same level as his wife. Such people have never been seen by Duomi until now. At this moment, the three exclusive maids had just taken their three brothers and Grace to their seat side by side, and no one else would be sitting except for them. Normally, the maidservant, butler, chef, and security guard would all dine with them at the same table. Carlos didn't have so many aristocratic burdens, and in his words, it would be strange if such a large table was empty. But now that the guests have arrived, it's important to be normal in front of them. It's not good to have a bad reputation if it's spread. Before all the dishes were ready, Carlos smiled and looked at Teacher Becky, today has been really tough, Teacher Becky. I have instructed the chef to make something good today, hoping it will suit your taste. Becky also smiled and responded, although she seemed stable like an old dog, she was actually in a panic. The one who is talking to her now is the top noble of the entire Lionheart Empire, a rare great mage. Her father is the only remaining forbidden mage in the country, and her grandfather has even passed the imperial examination. In front of such a character, not kneeling down and holding her thighs is already considered reserved for her. Becky shook his head slowly, speaking at a slightly rapid pace. 
It's my honor for the Duke to let me, a commoner teacher, teach the three young masters. How dare I shout, tired, dot. Ha, huh, the teacher is humble. Although those senior teachers are knowledgeable and have outstanding abilities, most of them rely on their own lofty ideals and look down on wisdom from the common people. This will only lead my child astray and become narrow-minded. Speaking of children, Carlos looked at his three children, his eyes full of love, and then asked Becky. Oh, by the way, teacher, how did these three brats behave today? Did they play around? Here we go. Becky had long anticipated this situation, whether it was common people or nobles. Whenever parents see teachers, they will definitely ask questions about this century. Although there was a slight accident during the teaching process, she had already considered countermeasures. The three young masters have all performed very well today. If there are a few more days, they will probably be able to proficiently say, Dad and Mom. They are truly the bloodline of adults, even the children they give birth to are so smart. Perfect answer. I flattered Carlos in all directions. She deserves it. But just as she finished speaking, the Duchess of Grace sitting across from her covered her mouth and burst out laughing. Although her voice was low, everyone still heard her. Knowing it was impolite, she coughed twice and immediately adjusted her facial expression to sit upright. Ah. Uh. Carlos looked at his wife helplessly and then apologized to Becky, please forgive my wife's impoliteness. It's just that, teacher. I heard some maid say, you called mom over sixty times in the room. At this point, Domi, who was passionately interacting with Kelsey, suddenly fell silent, huddled in Kelsey's arms like a forgotten leak. Becky's expression also stiffened, and the dining table fell into an extremely awkward situation. Fortunately, at this moment, the maidservant handed the final main meal to the dining table and informed Carlos that all the dishes had been served. Good opportunity. Carlos clapped his hands and maintained his usual smile, saying, since all the dishes are served, let's eat first to avoid getting cold. It's not too late to talk about some things later. Becky breathed a sigh of relief. This was undoubtedly an opportunity for her to think. The situation just now was too urgent, and the strong sense of pressure even caused her brain to crash in an instant. She couldn't come up with a reason at all. Now she can think of an excuse. However, just as Becky was in the midst of a mental storm and intense waters, there was another scenery across from him. Duomi will not miss any opportunity to earn villain value, and bullying, crossing out, and teasing his two brothers is the quickest and most stable source of income. Who 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 open your mouth, ah, uh, Kelsey scooped up a spoonful of corn thick soup with a small spoon, and when it was almost done, she fed it to Dom. And it was this simple operation that made the second brother next door and his exclusive made nervous. This little guy can always eat food on his brother's body every time he eats, and his methods are constantly emerging, making it difficult to prevent. On the contrary, as the person involved, Kelsey does not take it seriously. Children are not sensible and just play around. Dom opened his small mouth and bit into the silver spoon, then seized the opportunity. With a twist of his face and a crooked mouth, the yellow thick soup drew a beautiful parabola in mid-air, accurately pouring Edward's face. Wow! Wow! Edward's crying echoed throughout the restaurant, and the maids standing in a row around them turned their heads and chuckled lightly. It was just a reserved program for every meal, but it was still so funny. Playing tricks on the Duke's second son, villain value plus 100, he is very happy that the villain's value has been received, but Duomi still wants to apologize to him. Jie jie jie, my foolish and weak oni sauce. For the sake of my villainous value, I will wrongly treat you. I am really sorry, and I will compensate you when I grow up. Even apologizing with mockery is a necessary condition for cultivating villains. End of this chapter. Chapter 5. Talent Testing. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 5.5. .5. Talent Testing Taking Advantage of the Mischievous Time, 
several adults had already finished dinner, and Becky, under the pressure of Carlos, said everything. She found that no matter how many excuses she thought of, she would forget everything when she came to Carlos, once again. My mind was completely blank, so I had to reveal everything. And the truth is what Carlos wants to know. Can Duomi be so slow? Carlos was a bit incredulous, turning his head to look at the women in the family. Domi was still spraying corn broth at his brother. Last time it was spitting peas, last time it was sprinkling bread crumbs, and last time it was directly climbing up the table to burn the cake onto Edward's face how could a child like this be slow, as it always has different scenes. It's not an exaggeration to say that he is the most brilliant among the three sons. Carlos, Teresa suddenly spoke, is there a possibility that Dom deliberately didn't say it? The third child has been lively and active since childhood, and must be very intelligent, which is not impossible. And they're still so young that they can't tell anything from one thing. You're a bit paranoid. Grace's words seemed to awaken Carlos. The Blofeld family has been passed down for several generations, and he does not want the family to decline in his next generation, so he has given too much hope to his own children, hoping that they can use forbidden magic from birth. Carlos chuckled self-deprecatingly and said, it seems like this is indeed the case. Then he looked at Becky and said, teachers don't need to have any pressure. Just teach as you used to, and it's okay if you don't know how to speak. Children will naturally speak when they grow up. Grace looked at him with satisfaction, which was also what she admired the most about Carlos. He never became arrogant or arrogant because of his identity and abilities, and always listened to his opinions. But there is still one thing that needs to be discussed immediately. The teacher who teaches culture and enlightenment is just one part, while the other part is the child's magical talent testing. If conditions permit, immersing oneself in the atmosphere formed by corresponding talents from a young age can increase the upper limit of talents in the future, and even worse, it can accelerate the speed of magic cultivation. The effectiveness of education is evident to all. The former is mostly an optional content for noble families, while the latter is a mandatory content. Even some ordinary families will send their children who have been born for a while to the church for talent testing, and then do their best to cultivate them. Relying on magical talent to cross social classes and reach the pinnacle of life is the lifelong ideal of most commoners. Is it a magic talent test? A week, it's really time. Carlos calculated the time and said, in this way, tomorrow I will call one mage from all attributes and start cultivating the atmosphere directly after testing. Clam. Duomi seems to have heard something terrible. It's both enlightenment education and talent testing, he's only seven days old. Will enrolling in so many tutoring classes at once tire him out? Unfortunately, reality has never learned compassion. Early the next morning, the mages called by Carlos arrived, not even daring to be a second late, but arriving an hour earlier. Kelsey placed Domi alone in front of the magic ball and exited the room. The fewer people around during the talent test, the more precise it became. The person in charge of testing is the head guard of the family. Osmond. The strong guard not only has well-developed muscles, but also has a first-class magical talent. It is said that he even served as the commander of a certain knightly order in the past. His smile was very penetrating, with a scar running through his entire face. He was ferocious, as if he could lift a machete for himself a few times in the next moment, but his words were very gentle. Young master, put your little hand on the magic ball, before Osmond could help him lift his hand, Dom reached out and pressed his hand against the magic ball. Oh, it's quite spiritual. Then he focused on the magic ball and observed its changes. At the moment when Domi's hand touched the magic ball, she felt something inside her body boiling up, like gas or energy, and then continuously converging along the veins to the palm of her hand, then rushing out of her body and into the magic ball. The originally transparent small glass ball began to turn pitch black, as if it had been stained with ink. Shadow-type talent, decent the pitch black color is becoming increasingly intense, which is an indicator of talent level. 
The higher the talent of a person, even if they do not know how to use magic, they will gradually accumulate corresponding mana in their body. Calculating the total amount of these mana can indirectly determine a person's magical talent. So testing after seven days is a standard number of days. But as time passed, Osman's eyebrows furrowed. How could it be that there is only a beginner level talent in the Shadow series? The Blofeld family has excellent talent and bloodline, with a guaranteed intermediate level. Why does it have a lower level talent level? Is it recessive inheritance again? Duomi is also very helpless, but he is still grateful to have a junior talent. If I hadn't drawn a card at that time, and now I guess I'm still an untalented loser, it would be even more shameful. I guess I could have scared the guard's main gate teeth out. It's not that one must have talent to practice magic, it's okay without talent. It's just that with talent, practicing magic corresponding to that talent will be easier and more efficient. But Duomi didn't panic at all. When he first drew the shadow talent, Junior, he found that it was followed by the words, upgradable. So as long as the villain value is in place, he can even fully utilize his talent. The current display of weakness is just a means for him to fade out of the public eye. The talent test results of the three brothers were soon released. Big Brother Aguirre is a perfect earthy talent, which is one level higher than the advanced level, second only to the God Appreciates Rice level, almost the highest level talent. Edward, the second brother, is a high dot level fire type talent. Although not as good as his elder brother, fire type is the ultimate violent law system, and is more popular than the earth type that integrates attack and defense. Duomi was quite miserable. When Carlos and Greta found out that he only had a basic shadow series, their eyes dimmed a bit, but more of a pity. Carlos asked the mages of shadow, earth, and fire to stay and waved his hand to take the children down to start nurturing them. He then said to Greta. Fortunately, the boss and the second can still get by. Let them take good care of the third in the future. In today's chaotic times, it's not bad to let the third become a wealthy man, at least he can be safe and sound. Grace lowered her head and looked at the tip of her shoe. A mother didn't want her child to have exceptional talents and stand out, but compared to these, peace and tranquility were the most fundamental desires. She remained silent for a moment before lifting her head and looking firmly at Carlos. In the future, you cannot favor the first and second leaders. On the contrary, you must treat them equally and give the third leader more resources to ensure his safety and security. That is compensation for him. In the future, whether you want to become a wealthy family or go your own way, don't stop him. Promise me, Carlos. This is a disguised equilibrium. Carlos is well aware of Grasa's thoughts. A child's talent depends on both heaven and their parents, and Dom only has a basic shadow talent, and they also have half the responsibility. He took a step forward and hugged Grace's delicate body, placing his heads on each other's shoulders, gently whispering in her ear. I know now. Actually, you don't have to say that I will treat my three children equally. Whether it's Aguirre, Edward, or Domi, they are both our biological flesh and blood. There is no parent in the world who is not good for their own children. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Unexpected Wealth You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6.6 Unexpected wealth Kelsey carried Domi to the meditation room in the castle, which had already been decorated as the most suitable place for shadow sorcerers to practice. Crystal stones rich in shadow magic pile up into small mountains in the corner, and these black-purple crystals will slowly spill out mana, which will be absorbed by the mage to accelerate the storage of mana in the body or use sufficient mana to transform the body. Of course, users can also choose not to move these energies, which can create a dark atmosphere. That wizard did it that way. He used his own magic to condense the evenly spread magic in the room around Dom, so that Dom could bathe in the strongest atmosphere. He can most intuitively feel the continuous influx of energy into his body, converging with the already existing energy, steaming together, and flowing throughout his body. 
The host is currently in an environment with rich shadow energy, detected residual innate chi. Energy will be combined with innate chi to transform the host's body to the most suitable level for this attribute of energy. Error. The only talent of the host is obtained by the system and cannot be strengthened in normal form. We are looking for a solution. Converting excess energy to villain value required to upgrade shadow talent. Dot. Current progress. 1 slash 10,000, 1 minute later. Current progress. 2 slash 10,000, upon seeing this, Duomi was immediately overjoyed. Originally, upgrading the shadow talent to intermediate required 10,000 villain points, but now he can achieve the same effect with the innate energy of this baby. Most importantly, he does not need to pay any additional villain points. Abbreviated as white female ticket. The progress of only adding one minute per second is a bit awkward. To reach 10,000, you need to stay here for seven days without eating or drinking. Even if he wants to stay here, parents won't agree. Babies need a lot of sleep, and Domi is no exception. This is the limitation that this body will inevitably bring. If you can't extend your stay here, then accelerate the efficiency of absorption. Duomi sat on the mat, her eyes seemingly empty as she looked at the floor in front of her, but in reality, she was flipping through the chat records before the system and adding some thought. The combination of energy and innate chi transforms my body. Obviously, innate chi cannot be increased through postnatal means, but energy can be increased. It is known that people will slowly absorb the free mana from the air into their bodies, and its amount determines their talent. That is to say, the higher the talent, the more energy they inhale, and the faster their efficiency. If the talent is raised to another level and the efficiency of absorbing energy is faster, will the progress increase faster this should be the only available option at present. It's just 10,000 villain values. Duomi looked at his savings, totaling 9,900 villain values, and saving another 100 would be enough. That will be a great experiment, and if it can really improve efficiency, even if it only improves a little, he has enough confidence to elevate his talent to the advanced level within a year. And the cost is only increased to an intermediate level with a villain value of 10,000, which is an investment that will not lose money horizontally or vertically. 100 villain points are easy to obtain, and he can easily get them by eating milk or spraying his brother. The next day when he comes to the meditation room, he is already carrying a huge sum of money. Whether our big plan can be achieved depends on this time. Excited heart, trembling hands. At the moment he pressed, upgrade, the 10,000 villain values were cleared. At the same time, the energy of the surrounding shadows became restless, and the sudden change almost made the mage lose control of them. Wow! What gold mine! The wizard's eyes were filled with disbelief. Even though he had not done anything, according to his contract with the duke, he had not even touched any of these energies. Why did the dead energy move on its own? He didn't even think about Duomi. In the end, despite racking my brain, I couldn't come up with a solution. I could only attribute everything to the geological changes caused by celestial motion, which resulted in abnormal climate when energy returns to calm, everything feels like nothing has happened again. The wizard also relaxed his guard and went into a daze as usual. The system sends a prompt when connecting the rear foot to the front foot. Shadow talent upgrade completed. Beginner intermediate, Duomi waited tirelessly for a minute, her eyes fixed on the progress bar, current progress. 186-100000, the progress at the end of yesterday was 180-10,000, not including the overflow part. This time, we added 6 points directly. Success. Woohoo. Duomi secretly cheered, it seemed that upgrading talents could really improve efficiency. He suddenly realized that sitting dry was also such a beautiful thing, master. I realized it. However, at this rate, staying here for 3 hours every day would take 90.3 days to reach the next level, but that's not a problem. For babies, time is the least valuable thing. 
The real problem is that he cannot predict and the innate energy will dissipate, and then he cannot get stuck with this bug. We need to put in more effort to get the villain's worth. Duomi secretly made up her mind. So during these 93 days, Domi never missed any opportunity to earn villain value. When taking a shower, she always manages to make Kelsey giggle, giving her a few extra villainous points just to perform well, when staying with cheap parents, they always compete to put up stickers, during teacher Becky's enlightenment class, he always procrastinates until 50 times before cutting leaks he just lost a way to make money at the dining table. In order to prevent him from making trouble again, he and Kelsey were sent to the most remote corner, and even if he pouted, he couldn't spit food on others 93 days later, he finally had a bountiful harvest and his villain value had accumulated to over 60,000, half of which was provided by teacher Becky. Thank you to her. The most important thing is that the shadow talent has accumulated over time, rising from intermediate to advanced, but it seems to be limited by the innate energy. This time, it has only increased by 4 points, to 1 minute plus 10 points. What kind of experience is it to possess advanced shadow talents? Perhaps his brother didn't have a clear feeling yet, but he could feel that all the shadow magic around him seemed to be under his control, like stars and moons. He was the center of this mini-universe, and no shadow magic could escape his will. If the mage only gathers these powers without controlling them, like an adult intentionally releasing water while hitting a minor, then he, who is not as talented as Dom, will instantly lose control of these energies as long as Dom is willing. This is the level suppression brought about by talent. In actual combat, if two mages with the same level and talent attributes engage in battle, the person with higher talent will be able to control the wandering mana particles in the battlefield and rely on them to slowly replenish, while the opponent cannot. In this balance, the person with higher talent will definitely win, which is almost everyone's consensus. That's why talents in this world value talent so much. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Breathing in Physical Fitness. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 7.7 .7. Physical Fitness Breathing a year passed in a blink of an eye, and the upgrade progress of the shadow talent finally got stuck, at 47.7 W slash 100 W, which was just half lost. It's not that Duomi's liver doesn't move, it's just that the system indicates that the innate chi has completely disappeared. Without this most important seasoning, Duomi's heart is more than enough and his strength is insufficient. This result is still acceptable. Over the past six months, he has gradually accumulated 18,000 villain points, and at this speed, he can quickly fill in the gaps. Whenever he thinks of going online, he can receive a perfect level talent, and he can even laugh while sleeping. At present, he has a total of 24.1 million yuan in savings, but he does not intend to put all of it into talent upgrades. The reason is simple. Since he developed this card drawing system, the only time he drew cards was when he was in the mother's womb. He has accumulated it for a year and has not touched it yet. It is estimated that it will accumulate dust. So Duomi decided to draw 100,000 from inside first and have a thousand consecutive draws to have a good time. By the way, grab a chance for a premium card pool. Do whatever you say. In the middle of the night, Domi suddenly sat up in shock while dying. She turned her head and looked around. In the two cribs next door, two older brothers were sleeping like dead pigs, and their parents were still asleep in the big bed. Although it is uncertain whether a high dot level mage and a great mage are in a clear state of mind, he shouldn't have alarmed his elder by drawing cards in his own crib. Finally, I can get through my card addiction. I've been growing grass for a whole year, and those who don't know think I've quit drugs. While roast, he clicked on the system panel and came to the card drawing interface. It was a huge disc with a variety of things on it. With excitement in his heart, he pressed 10 consecutive draws a hundred times, and then a bunch of thank you for your patronage and a series of prompts to obtain items brushed his screen. Energy Potion X66, Inspiration Potion X5, Night Vision Potion X7, Trauma Ointment X48, 
Strength Enhancement plus 0.7, Spiritual Strength Enhancement plus 0.3, Agile Enhancement plus 2, Wand Making Diagram, White, French Self Selection, X6, Wand Making Diagram, Green, French Self Selection, X3, Wand Making Diagram, Purple Wine Series. X1, Lionheart Empire Noble Etiquette, LV Tax. Thank you for visiting XA22 Advanced Card Pool Rewards. Physical Fitness, Breathing Through the unique breathing rhythm, recuperate and strengthen the body in all directions through subtle influence. The longer the time is, the more obvious the effect will be, transforming into rapid breathing can unleash an extraordinary force in a short period of time, but there will be relative side effects afterwards, rewards have been issued and items have been stored in the system space. Please note that the system space cannot store items other than reward items. Current Attribute Changes Strength 11.7 Agility 13 Spiritual Power 11.3 The average human attribute is calculated by adding one year older to all attributes. For adults aged 18, each attribute is 18, and so on. After the age of 55, it decreases by 0.5 every year, which is just an average value and cannot be applied to everyone. In the game, adding a point is just adding a point and changing the numerical value, but this system is very realistic. When the strength attribute increases, it will forcibly tear his muscle fibers and then repair them, achieving an increase in muscle density under the same volume, thereby strengthening strength. Agile reinforcement focuses on optimizing the response nerves, enabling them to receive and transmit signals more quickly. As for spiritual power, it is quite mystical. Domi is not sure how it operates, he only knows that he can drive more mana, which can be understood as an increase in mana. Regardless of which one of the three, it is necessary to destroy his body, causing him to scream in pain. As a result, the child's crying in the middle of the night became a nightmare for parents in the pain, he unconsciously fell into a coma and woke up at noon the next day. As soon as he opened his eyes, he was horrified to find a large circle of people gathered around the small baby bed. His parents, Kelsey, and a bunch of gentle guys wearing white coats. These battles made him feel at a loss for what to do. Those who didn't know thought he had been dissected alive and was being placed on the operating table for a group of people to visit. Treasure the Specimen The most useless magical wastewood cub in the history of Blofeld. At this moment, a white coat noticed that Duomi had already opened his eyes and immediately shouted. Hey hey hey! The young master is awake. A group of people immediately gathered around, and Grace leaned in directly. Her big eyes were covered in mist, as if she would cry the next moment. She hugged him with tears of joy and said, God bless. In the white coat, there was a man with a slightly messy and fluffy center, wearing golden glasses and a serious expression with unparalleled confidence. He stood beside Carlos and said calmly. Carlos, I'll just say it's okay. Carlos furrowed his sword eyebrows and asked in a deep voice, What's going on, Galen? Dom was still fine before, why did he stay unconscious after a little commotion at night? The man named Galen was the official physician of Blofeld, who used to be Carlo's friend and had excellent medical skills. However, even he had no consensus after the examination and awkwardly helped his glasses, saying. I did not detect any symptoms, but during the examination, I found that the young master's physical fitness was significantly different from that of ordinary children. Taking young Master Aguer as an example, he has been very healthy since birth, and his future physique is expected to be quite robust. However, even with such talent, his current physical fitness cannot compare to young Master, if Argyle is compared to one, then Dominic is three. Three times the difference. How much will it widen in the future? Carlos asked curiously. No one can predict what will happen in the future. Perhaps it will catch up, or even widen the gap by six, seven, or even ten times. It's too difficult to say. The only thing I can tell you is that the young master has exceptional talent in this area. 
This coma may be an opportunity to unleash his potential, and I can't think of any other reason after Galen finished speaking, he bid farewell to Carlos and left the castle with a bunch of his white-clad students. Excellent talent in physical fitness. Carlos relayed Galen's words to Grace, and by then Kelsey had already taken Dom to take a shower, leaving only the couple in the bedroom. That's right, Carlos nodded confidently, believing that while the gods closed the door for Dom, they would definitely open an extra window for him. Dom doesn't have magical talent, why can't he have physical talent? So I decided to hand over that department to Domi. Without a doubt, Grace thought of something and her face turned pale. Even her voice couldn't help but increase by a few decibels. You mean the department where Blofeld made his fortune? Are you joking? There is a deep taboo about the founder of Blofeld, Carlos, as it was a dark and bloody history. No, I'm not joking. Grace suddenly stood up and looked at Carlos with anger on her face. You promised me to protect a lot of rice. But now you're letting him hang out with those cold-blooded guys licking blood on the blade. I have said that we need to protect a lot of rice and give it more resources. We will not block any path we want to take in the future. I will guarantee these promises, but who can guarantee the longevity of the Blofeld family? Once we decline and lose our strength, who will protect Dom? Our children will become the remnants of Blofeld, seen as a thorn in the side and a thorn in the flesh by our enemies. We will never give up until we kill them. A wealthy man. Or a young man pursuing his own dreams, have the ability to deal with their pursuit. I just want Duomi to develop some strong skills before I'm even stronger, so that everyone who pursues him has to weigh his own weight, so that he, who is not good at magic, can survive in this magical world. End of this chapter. Chapter 8. Eight Year Banquet. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 8. New Year's Banquet Carlos and Grace didn't argue for long, and on the basis of a good marital relationship, they quickly reached a compromise. More precisely, Grace tacitly agreed to Carlos's plan. As parents, they do need to protect their children well, but no matter how well their parents protect them, it is not as good as their own ability to take care of themselves comprehensively. Carlos said so much to illustrate this truth. They have more important things to do today than meaningless arguments. The three children of the Blofeld family are all one year old, and today is the time to hold the New Year's banquet. As the hosts, the two of them need to put on the best mental state to welcome all the guests and share the joy of their children spending a safe year with everyone. At that time, the most prestigious figures in the entire empire will be present, and the entire castle will be mobilized as a result. All the maids set up the venue, prepared various details, and decorated the venue under the strict supervision of the head maid, the kitchen has been busy since early morning, Osmond, with hundreds or even thousands of lords directly under his command, protected the castle layer by layer, avoiding any hidden dangers. When he saw an ant nest, he poured water and destroyed it. Passing butterflies had to tear off half of their wings, and even dogs had to slap each other when they came in, in order to prevent transformed mages from sneaking in. The festive red silk even spread from the castle to the main road of the territory, and now all the lords know that their children are one year old. And as the protagonist of this banquet, Domi was actually the last one to know. He looked bewildered as Kelsey changed into exquisite baby clothes and placed them in the most prominent place in the lobby. Together with his two brothers, they became a true mascot, claiming to bring joy to guests who came from afar. Duomi doesn't know what abstract mixed tradition this is, but after all, it's a different world, so do as the Romans do when in Rome. The banquet will not start until this evening, and the main focus during the day is to decorate the venue. It was only through this opportunity that I had the chance to see how the female maidservants, who were usually seen with their heads and tails, oppressed the little maidservants. According to Kelsey's roast, Catherine, the maid head, is a very serious adult woman. She can't tolerate a bit of sand. She demands perfection in everything. She is an obsessive.compulsive and perfectionist. The fact is indeed so. 
Catherine stood in the center of the entire venue, holding a thick document in her arms, instructing each maid to assign tasks like a river and mountains. Time was tickled every minute, and every maid had just finished their work. The next second, the maidservant leader would immediately assign her the next task. Jenny, are you ready with the drinks? If not, hurry up to the cellar to get it. You also need to build a champagne tower, hurry up. Maggie, where are the small gifts for each guest? The numbers don't match, are you sure your math wasn't taught by the physical education teacher? Please double check it for me. At this moment, Domi felt the oppression from the maid as if facing her former homeroom teacher. But if we don't talk about the stereotypes before, Catherine is actually a down dot to dot earth beauty. She doesn't need to wear maid attire, and she always wears the same vest as a butler in her daily life. Although she is tight, her graceful figure is also fully reflected. With long legs and a water snake waist, not inferior to Kelsey's plump double peaks, and a cold and proud face like an iceberg, a head of black and straight long hair hanging down to the waist, if changing clothes and makeup, wearing a blue and white dress and crystal high heels, it is said that she is a princess from the Northern Republic, and Domi would also choose to believe it. Being a small maid here is really a waste of talent, Domi sighed. Looking around again, the three successful and exclusive maids now only need to take care of their brothers and sisters. They are so idle that they even start eating melon seeds, drinking afternoon tea, chatting happily and even giggling. They are so leisurely that they form a sharp contrast with the shrewd and capable maidservant. Domi can't help but feel sorry for Catherine, it's really a trap left by her mind time flies by, and after dozing off, it's already dark. However, the entire lobby still shines brightly with lights and decorations outside, illuminating the night as if it were daytime. Luxury carriages lined up at the entrance of the castle like they didn't need money. Dressed in glamorous attire, men and women walked off the carriage in pairs, polite smiles, and greetings to acquaintances. Precious boots and gift shoes slowly walked into the castle on the red carpet. Their family was undoubtedly the most shining star of the day. Is this the face of the strongest lord family? Duomi's young soul was strongly shaken, and he had never seen such a gathering of upper-class people from childhood to adulthood. This was his first time. When the big shots crossed the threshold, the gatekeeper took on the responsibility of calling out for status as a servant at ancient banquets. Master Greenville is here, Master Triple X, come, dot. Prince Capet has arrived, as the head of the Blofeld family, Carlos received all the guests at the door from the beginning. After more than a few meters of observation, Carlos had a slightly better and more friendly attitude towards the Grinville family and Prince Capet, and it seemed that he had a good relationship with his own family. At this moment, Carlos walked towards them with the two of them, and the three exclusive maids who were eating melon seeds beside him had already put away their stalls, standing solemnly beside them to serve. Mickey and Capet, come and take a look at my three sons. Mitchell said with great interest, Carlos, I heard that two of your three sons have awakened quite good talents. Are you interested in having a baby kiss? Prince Capet joined the crowd and said, then I can be a witness. Mitchell Greenville, with flowing sky-blue hair and a top-dot-notch appearance, is the head of Greenville's family, the second-largest aristocrat in the South. His status in the South is second only to Blofeld. To express friendliness, friends usually call him Mitch, which is more convenient. And Prince Capet's background is even greater, as he is the younger brother of the current imperial emperor, wielding immense power. Whoever comes here must give him face, as if seeing the emperor in person. This time, it was also because the emperor was busy with official duties that he asked his younger brother to help come forward. According to their identities, there shouldn't have been such an intimate conversation, but who would have thought that they had been playing together since childhood? Their relationship is solid, completely different from what is rumored to be incompatible, and it is common to discuss marriage. Carlos laughed heartily and said, it's not urgent yet. Let's leave the children's final decisions to themselves. If we have to dismantle the Mandarin ducks later, it would seem too ruthless of us. You're right, during the conversation, 
they had already arrived in front of Domi, and Carlos introduced them one by one. When they introduced their two brothers, they were clearly satisfied, but when it was Domi's turn, their expressions became strange. Carlos hugged Duomi and pretended to be regretful, saying, although Zaya Duomi's magical talent is not obvious, I will still treat him well. Come and say hello to your two uncles, Duomi was handed to Capet by Carlos like this. The relationship between the three is indeed iron. No matter how talented the child is, as long as it is Carlos's child, Capet also treats it as his own, being extra careful when holding him and occasionally teasing him. But he absolutely doesn't know what medicine is hidden in Duomi's stomach. How noble is the imperial prince! His status is even higher than his father's. If we can mess with him, how much villain value can we give him? Thinking about it can make his hands tremble, be careful not to get dirty and jump. So, in front of everyone's eyes, Domi stubbornly held back a yellow-green snot and spat it on Prince Capet's precious collar. You severely humiliated the Imperial Prince, villain value plus one thousand, I'm joie, so many. The first time I saw a four-digit number, Duomi was also stunned for a moment. Then, with a firm heart, her nose, tears, and saliva all went up. If it weren't for just pouring water, it would have been so high and low that she would have had to defecate and urinate. I saw Domi clinging and crying and making noise on Capet, unable to coax and pull apart, causing the three of them to have a headache. Just kidding, one second earns a thousand yuan. Isn't it a big loss to not rely on him for a few hours? End of this chapter After the round dance in chapter 9, it is a brand new beginning. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9.9 .9. After the waltz, a brand new beginning begins Duomi felt that he couldn't persecute Capet anymore, otherwise he would have grown up with an additional prince-level character who disliked him. That would be a great deal of desperation. So Duomi stopped after forcibly seizing 5,000 villain points, was placed back on the mat by Carlos, and was scolded by him for a while. Although Duomi didn't think he should understand, he changed his meaning to. Dare again next time. After teaching him a lesson, Carlos went to drink and brag with his two sworn brothers on his own, leaving him and his two resentful brothers to stay in the same place and waste time. After a while, the guests were almost all here. The spacious lobby was filled with people everywhere, and the voices of conversation were like waves, one after another, very lively. They were dressed in colorful dresses, making people dizzy and dizzy. What's even worse, almost everyone had to come and walk around in front of them, either pretending to say hello or touching his head inch by inch. Hey, look, the children of the Duke's family are so well behaved and adorable. Let me touch, let me touch. Don't squeeze, don't squeeze, I haven't touched it yet. Dot. I've really had enough of these guys. Domi complained, just come and bring some gifts, just leave this pretentious touch, what's the point? Where Carlos can't see, Dom can see and hear. That group of nobles are not many good things, they talk about everything without interests and transactions, speak of benevolence, righteousness, and morality, and do nothing but oppression and exploitation, even treating them as capital to show off and compare Duomi felt disgusted from the bottom of his heart. He had also been oppressed in his past life, but they were at the center of the vortex. Dealing with the nobility was necessary, and in the future, he had to learn to deal with them. Every time he thought of this, his aversion to learning came up, just like wanting to sleep in a high school math class. Fortunately, the nobles did not have more time to continue to mistreat him. As the lights slowly dimmed, Carlos appeared in the center of the lobby, on the steps connecting the second floor, and gave a speech to a group of guests. The content was nothing more than thanking them for their arrival and celebrating the child's birthday. Everyone was used to listening, and every household had their own set of lines. After a simple speech, there is a round dance party that many people are looking forward to. In such a high dot end place, the opportunity to make connections is everywhere, and it's no wonder most people are enthusiastic. The woman rests on the man's shoulder, while the man embraces the woman's slender waist, 
dancing gracefully to the melodious and melodious concerto, dancing in a nationally unified waltz. Duomi looked around, even the champagne attendant could spin inside and deliver the wine to those in need, looking calm and as if enjoying it. Indeed, it is difficult to suppress the desire to join in such a bustling atmosphere, but unfortunately he cannot dance, and his body does not allow him to dance. But Kelsey can do it. A dance is a highly inclusive social activity, and as long as the host doesn't mind, anyone can join in principle, including a maid. Plan to pass. So Domi crawled towards Kelsey on the side and reached out his hand to hug her Kelsey understood in seconds and quickly transferred the dom to her arms. Ah it was a familiar feeling, it was the taste of home, what's wrong, Duomi? Are you hungry? Do you still want to shush? Kelsey said lightly. Just like safety words or training dogs, every time a person says a word, the other person will subconsciously think of something, and this operation also applies to babies. In Kelsey's eyes, Domi was already a child who could hear what eating and booing meant. But his purpose was not that. He turned his head and stared intently at the dance floor, occasionally making a, um, um, sound in his mouth, indicating that he wanted to join in. Can you hear and understand? I should be able to understand, right? I made it so obvious. This time he is not aiming to earn villain value, but simply wants to soak in the dance floor with Kelsey. Maybe he won't have this opportunity when he grows up, so he should seize the opportunity now. Kelsey didn't disappoint his expectations either. With a meaningful, oh, she said, so Domi also wants to dance, how should a baby dance? Aguirre's exclusive maid puzzled. He can't do it, but I can. Just hold him like this, and today Duomi is my boyfriend, dancing the waltz with a little baby is such a novel experience. Are you crazy? Let young Master Dominic be your boyfriend. If the master finds out, you will suffer greatly. Edwards made kindly advised. So. Kelsey pondered for a moment, then go ask the master and lady first. Hello. As soon as Kelsey finished speaking, she hugged Dom and walked towards Carlos, unable to stop the two maids no matter how hard they tried. Aguirre's maid was a relatively robust maid, and she sighed, I really don't know why Catherine chose such a reckless little girl as her exclusive maid. Edward's maid covered her mouth and smiled, I think she's quite compatible with Master Domi. After finishing, she glanced at the colleague beside her and said, You and Master Argyle are also very compatible. Dancing with Dom Carlos took a sip of the red wine and looked at Dom and Kelsey. Dom stared blankly at the dance floor, while Kelsey looked expectant. He chuckled lightly and said, Okay, why not? Go have fun and be careful not to bump into others. Thank you, sir. After obtaining permission, Kelsey looked delighted and jumped into the dance floor. The black and white long skirt fluttered in the wind, transforming into her wings, like a light elf, carrying her through the crowd. Her pink long hair was like silk, and the spinning dance steps drove the strands of her hair, enveloping her and Domi in a small world where only she and the young man in front of her were growing up. When her eyes met, Kelsey seemed to see a sigh of relief in Domi's deep ice blue pupils. How could children have such emotions? She shook her head secretly, putting this matter behind her, and now more importantly, enjoying this time. The courses in school have taught waltz, which is a skill that every normally educated student knows. Even if she is not so proficient, it does not hinder her from enjoying the joy of round dancing, especially with a child who is very close to her. Looking at the bright smile on the girl's face, Duomi couldn't help but be stunned. Sweetness and cuteness were one aspect, but more importantly, she touched a string deep in her heart. The place that had been played with by emotions was now slowly healed by Kelsey's tenderness. How could someone who hasn't been loved and taken care of by parents since childhood have experienced this kind of feeling? Although Carlos and Teresa were also kind to him, it was Kelsey who truly gave him the love and healing he needed. Just a maid. No, 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 she has become the sustenance of Duomi, 
an irreplaceable existence that can never be replaced. After this piece of music and this waltz, he no longer asks about the past and the hardships of the past, because now, someone has pushed open the door to a new life for him. End of this chapter. Chapter 10. 10 Bleeding in Anger Comes. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 10.10. Bleeding in Anger Comes Kelsey dances the waltz very well, no less than that group of nobles. The most distinctive feature of it is its agile dance steps, without a rigid and conventional approach, completely following her own intentions. Each step falls to the rhythm of the background music, and even wearing high heels does not make her movements awkward at all. Everything is so natural. The school's teaching is definitely not that good, Domi leans more towards Kelsey's hard work and talent. In Kelsey's arms, Domi also spun with her, and when she looked up, she could see her confident eyes. Her confident, elegant and beautiful dance steps, combined with her unique beauty, quickly attracted a lot of attention on the dance floor. The aristocrats who had been practicing waltz and ballroom dancing since childhood were amazed by her abilities. She was just a little maid, why could she dance better than them all? But the more others envy and envy, the more proud Duomi becomes. This is called having honor. Mao's small head, which had not yet fully grown, couldn't help but lift a little, and his chin almost hit the sky. It seemed like she could see Dom's mood, and Kelsey also showed a cheerful smile. Oh no good. This kind of Kelsey is so dazzling. The light directly covered everyone. At this point, they had already finished turning the inner circle, and there were no regrets left. Kelsey was also a bit tired after enjoying herself, and it was time to leave. But if you leave, you have to slowly turn around, otherwise it will disrupt the rhythm of others and cause some trouble, which will be bad. But just as Kelsey slowed down and was about to pass by a couple, her ankle suddenly sprained and her heel poked inward. After losing balance, she fell to one side, along with more than a few meters. The field of view quickly shakes and tilts. Bang! With a muffled sound, Kelsey fell heavily to the ground, as the floor was smooth and lacked any cushioning. The sound was so loud that everyone looked over. However, even if she fell, she did not let go of the domino in her arms, and it was precisely because he was resting on Kelsey's arm that he was not injured. But Kelsey is hard to say. She was already in the rhythm of a waltz, with inertia in her movements. With such a fall, these inertia would be applied to the damage caused by the impact, causing shock throughout her body. In addition, there was a sprained foot with excessive amplitude, and in order to protect her wrist, her elbow also had some degree of fragmentation. These pains combined were enough to make a 16-year-old girl cry uncontrollably, but Kelsey knew she couldn't cry in such an occasion and could only curl up trembling on the cold floor, holding back her voice. The high heels fell off her feet and landed on the floor not far away, while the other one was still there, but it made her look even more disheveled. Her light pink silk-like long hair scattered all over the ground, compared to her previous charm, it was like a swan rushing into the water. Who? Who is it? Domi crawled out of Kelsey's arms and widened her eyes to look around. What about the closest couple? It was definitely someone who tripped Kelsey just now that caused her to fall. He can guarantee the ticket, that feeling is absolutely obvious. Quickly, he locked in those two people in the noisy crowd, both wearing dark grey evening gowns. The woman's face had deep legal stripes, and her overly thin face made her look like a bamboo pole. The man was even more mischievous, still glancing up at Kelsey's legs and gradually rising. The basis that convinced him that these two people were the culprits was that he saw a slight redness on the woman's ankle, which was clearly left behind after a certain intensity of collision. Boom! Seeing this scene after scene, Duomi could only feel a buzzing sound in his brain, as if a millennium volcano had suddenly erupted, and his angry emotions could not be suppressed. Breathing also became rapid, the underdeveloped chest bulging back and forth, and a large amount of oxygen entered the body, forming a magical cycle that was completely different from before. 
It was this wonderful and powerful feeling that made Duomi feel like he could run. Body Forging Technique Breathing A noun came to mind, which was a high dot level card pool reward sent by drawing a thousand before. Now it seems that this high dot level prefix is true and not false. When a half year old baby who is only one year old and has just learned to walk appears in the eyes of adults, no one would think that such a little guy would run, but as long as he really does it, everyone will be shocked. And Duomi thundered everyone around him like this, only to see him vigorously walking on his short legs, not at all slow, and quickly reaching the feet of those two people. This is agility at the age of three. Until then, the man still wanted to squat down, with a friendly expression on his face, as if everything had nothing to do with him. The more he pretended to be like this, the more angry he became. Although he really wanted to turn his head off and play basketball. He still can't play now, and the man is wearing long pants and boots, unable to bite. So Domi turned his focus to the woman next to him, whose entire leg was exposed to the outside world at this moment, the time of blackening. Oh my goodness! He actually bit with his mouth. Devil! A demon has descended upon him, and the gods bless this child. Someone! Who will pull the young master away? Amidst the screams and screams of the onlookers, Domi actually hugged the woman's calf and bit her mouth towards the belly of her most meaty calf. Suddenly, blood splattered everywhere. Of course, the teeth used for biting are not the newly grown front teeth, but a set of magical teeth condensed in his mouth using his internal shadow magic, modeled after the shape of a giant toothed shark, with serrated shapes and each tooth being a triangular cone. With such a physics-inspired design and the temporary strengthening of the bite force brought by breathing techniques, Duomi can still pull a piece of meat off her leg with a little force. Blood shot out, muscle fibers tore apart one by one, and finally completely detached from the body. The feeling of flesh and blood peeling made the woman almost faint from the pain. Subconsciously, she wanted to throw the little trick on her leg out, but her husband, the man beside her, forcefully stopped her. Are you crazy? This is the duke's child, endure it. Even if you were bitten to death by him today, you can't touch a single hair of him. Upon hearing these words, the woman's mask of pain on her face became even more intense, and when combined with her face, it was almost impossible to look directly at it. At this moment, the noise of the venue finally attracted Carlos, Grace, and others. What's going on? A calm and familiar voice came from outside the audience circle, and people consciously made way for Carlos to enter the scene, with Grace, two exclusive maids, Mitch, and Capet following behind. Carlos saw Kelsey lying on the ground with tears streaming down her face at first glance, her eyelids twitching and her heart slowing down. A nobleman with a good relationship walked out and leaned in Carlos's ear to explain the whole story, but he obviously didn't notice any more details. What about my son? My friend pointed in another direction and said, Master Dominic somehow ran towards that direction. Running. A one-year-old child can already run. Mitch couldn't believe it, because he also had a little daughter who was only a few days younger than the Dominican brothers. He had only just been able to stand now. How could a friend's child already know how to run? Duke Greenville, I can assure you I'm not mistaken. Young Master Dominic did run on two legs, quite fast, and... And what? Carlos couldn't see his son, and his patience was about to reach its limit. The aristocratic man's face showed a hint of fear, with a tone of uncertainty. And... I seem to have seen a furious, extremely angry expression on the young master's face. End of this chapter